You're listening to the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network. Welcome to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. Broadcasting now from the virtual C344 studios overlooking the edge of Coconut Avenue is your host, award-winning and best-selling author, Dr. Stephen Lesovich. Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Lesovich out there on the edge of everything. This episode is entitled Labor Day, Barbecues, 15 Minutes of Fame, and Follow Through. Have you ever planned something fun or important, then decided not to follow through on your plans because of a change in circumstances? Are you able to follow through and finish what you start, even if the change in circumstances is very challenging? Let me tell you another true story. Several years ago, my friends and I decided to have a barbecue on Labor Day Monday on Bradford Beach in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Bradford Beach is on Milwaukee's east side lakefront on the western shore of Lake Michigan. On the Sunday before Labor Day Monday, it was sunny with the temperature in the 70s and no wind. We bought all the food and made other preparations for our barbecue. We got the charcoal, the grill, the lawn chairs, the volleyball net and volleyball, some frisbees, and a football together and ready for loading in our cars. However, none of us bothered to check the weather. That was a big mistake. Overnight, a cold front came through with very heavy rain and the temperature dropped into the 50s with a northeast wind that was howling at about 25 miles per hour or more and creating very large waves at the beach and blowing sand with the intensity of a sandblast. For anybody who's grown up on the western shore of Lake Michigan, you really understand exactly what I mean and what the weather was like that day. For those of you who have not, when a cold front comes through and the wind blows out of the northeast, it generates very large waves, blowing sand, and some of the worst possible conditions for being at the beach. Since none of us had anything better to do, we decided to have our barbecue in spite of the really nasty weather. We all gathered our rain gear and the barbecue supplies and drove to the beach and set up for our barbecue in the heavy rain. We were the only people for miles up and down Bradford Beach. We had such a good time, that Labor Day barbecue was probably the best holiday barbecue we ever had, in spite of very challenging conditions. I do not think we ever had more fun or laughed as hard as we did that particular Labor Day. On a typical Labor Day weekend, all of the local news stations do stories about people engaging in different activities and enjoying the last few days of summer. That Labor Day weekend was no exception. Since we were the only people on the beach for miles having a barbecue in the heavy rain and 50 degree temperatures, the local reporters who work for ABC, CBS, and NBC affiliates in Milwaukee all stopped by to interview us to have us explain why we were still out on the beach having our barbecue. The edited interviews were all shown on the 10 p.m. news on all three local news stations. All of our friends and neighbors saw the interviews and thought the whole experience was hilarious. We created a memory and a life experience we still talk about today. We all followed through in spite of the change of circumstances and very challenging conditions. That Labor Day, we also likely used up all of our 15 minutes of fame. 15 minutes of fame is an expression for short-lived media publicity or celebrity status for an individual or a phenomenon. The expression was inspired by the famous artist Andy Warhol's words, quote, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes, end quote, which appeared in the program for a 1968 exhibition of his work. So how can you follow through and finish what you start when circumstances in your life change and things do not go as you plan them? Consider these three things. Number one, focus on the benefits. Make a list of all positive benefits you will achieve or obtain by following through and completing what you have planned. Use your list of positive benefits to create a plan to follow through to a desired positive end result, even though your current set of circumstances may be challenging or causing you negative emotions. Number two, become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Understand and acknowledge that your own short-term discomfort will lead to long-term gains and achievements. Personal growth begins in a state of chaos, which is the catalyst of change, and ends in a state of calm and peace. 
Embrace the chaos of change. Change your current relationship with change and your emotional triggers that cause you to be uncomfortable and reframe them as an opportunity for positive growth. Number three, become action-oriented. Create a set of small, meaningful action steps you can take to follow through to your desired positive end result. Next, prioritize your set of action steps. Take daily actions on these small, meaningful steps based on your priority scheme. These prioritized daily actions allow you to maintain a positive daily orientation and allow you to successfully follow through to your desired positive end result, even when your current set of circumstances is very challenging. Having the ability to follow through in challenging circumstances will allow you to create a positive impact in your own life and in the life of others and may even allow you to capture some of your own 15 minutes of fame. Until next time, I'm Dr. Stephen Lesovich, out there on the edge of everything. If you're enjoying this podcast, please subscribe to our channel, Out There on the Edge of Everything. You have been listening to Out There on the Edge of Everything, the show that examines, helps you understand, and effectively deal with the interesting edges of life. For more information on your host, Dr. Stephen Lesovich, please visit slesovich.com. For more information on prior and future shows, please visit coconutavenueradio.net. This is the Coconut Avenue Radio and Podcast Network.